welcome back to my YouTube channel. Yes, July is coming to a close and this is gonna be my first favorites video. Yeah, my first favorites video. I'm not sure if I'm going to do favorites videos every month. For now, I don't wanna promise. That's a lot of pressure, you know, to find new stuff for you guys and if there's no new stuff, I have to show you the same stuff I showed you the month prior. But anyway, if I can't collate enough beauty favorites for every month, then I just might as well show you what I like for every month, regardless of whether it's beauty or not. I'll start off with skincare. And I'll try not to make it as long as the one I filmed earlier, which was wrong. <laughs> okay, my first favorite is right now this Maxi Peel. I'll drop in a close-up here. Um, a Maxi Peel Fresh and Natural Skin Purifier. I'm sorry, I do not like or encourage rolling your eyes, but if you're by yourself, you can do that. I'm not, I'm by myself, but all of you can see me. <laughs> I'm rolling my eyes because it's a good product, okay? I'm gonna go into why I like it. But I just can't stand that they don't wanna call it a toner. But what gives, guys? Um, because I, con I compared the ingredients to... In, and I already wrote about this in the blog, by the way, so I'm gonna link that post below. I already compared it to... Uh, Clarence Exfoliating Brightening Toner. The similarity between this and Alpha H Liquid Gold and Clarence Exfoliating Toner is it's an alcohol base countered by glycerin and then they contain the AHA acids required to exfoliate the face chemically. I think the reason why they didn't want to call it an exfoliating toner is for them, their mainstay of products is are already like peels they didn't want this to be redundant something like that so they call it a skin purifier but it's really a toner i've tried this patch test and i've tried this full face the other night and um so far no problem it substitutes my paula's choice um ha gel i have a glycolic gel by paula's choice which works fabulously but i just can't stand the smell because it's sour it got even brighter so i had to adjust the camera it hasn't hurt my skin i'm using it properly when i use this the very next day i use a high spf of 50 or above and i'm not experiencing flaking please wait for my part two review of this to come on uh, come up on the blog because then i'll be able to tell you in full after a whole week of using it two to three times that what i think you know as a whole maxi peel fresh and natural skin purifier okay still liking this this is the I'm not gonna talk too much about this but this is the this works in transit camera close-up um moisturizer slash primer not a mask. It's not a mask for me, even though they say it's a mask. Love it. Use it under makeup. It doesn't make my makeup cake or shift. And um, it's really soothing after I've toned my face with something acidic nga, like like this Maxi Peel one or with the Paula's Choice Glycolic Gel. I like using this moisturizer after, before bed. Or the one I blogged about, the, which is not with me right now. It's the over there. It's the Ole Total Effects anti-aging night cream yeah if i know if i want to make the pin on this i use that one okay so still liking this because i use it as a primer and as a moisturizer this is the Re mark anthony repairing macadamia sulfate free conditioner and i get this from snr the one i blogged about before was the argan oil shampoo or argan <laughs> The Argan Oil Shampoo from the same range from SNR. I only color my hair like every every two to three months um, because my hair is short and the color that I chose for my hair is pretty close to my original hair color. So even if there's regrowth, it's not that obvious. That being the case, I like to retain the color for as long as possible. I like my pixie hair to look sleek, which is the way it looks now. This is... I'm, this is newly cut. This is about like four days from my three or four days from my last cut, so that's new. Um, I like it to look as sleek as this. So r right now I have a hair oil in, but if I want it to look like this, um, after my hair dries from the shower, I I will use this conditioner. Thumbs up for the macadamia oil sulfate free conditioner by Mark Anthony. It's available in SNR membership shopping. Um, if you're not a member. Find a friend who is one and ask them to get this for you if you want to try it. 
Okay? I am finally allowed to show you what I've been keeping secret for like a month now. Because this is the stuff by NARS, okay? The first NARS boutique, like fully blown NARS boutique in the Philippines has opened already over a month ago in Central Square BGC Mall. They're on the ground floor. It's beautiful. You won't miss it. Like the glass and you know, it's like inside you can sit down, have your makeup done. They were so sweet, the NARS team, because I was an early bird. <laughs> they pulled me into the tea, the tea party with the legit press. <laughs> so I was like looking, you know, I was like looking for my friends, but apparently it was too early, papala. So when I arrived, I was like, oh, aren't these? I was like with the magazine editors and all. I was like, hi, they knew who I was, you know, these magazine editors, because we see each other at events. But I was like, wait, wait, wait where are the other bloggers? <laughs> and then they gave me what is essentially the NARS Fall Collection. They were clear about how strict NARS is abroad um, and embargo date for the Philippines has to follow the embargo date um, after the U.S. releases. You know, so gigil. I wanted to talk about it na. But a blog post is gonna go up on this, I promise you. I already took photos. So this is the NARS Fall Collection. The first one I want to show you is this beauty right here, which is NARS um, Passi... And how do you say it? Passifé? Passifé... Um, what is this? This is the dual intensity eyeshadow in Passifé, and it's a dual chrome. You can see here. Whoa, and I'm also gonna do a close up. Um, it's beautiful. It's got this sort of like. Um, no, I, won't, I was about to say monochromatic. That's the wrong word. Um, it's got a dual chrome, and it's basically the dual chrome that shifts from a peacock sort of green to a. What is this? It's kind of, it's kind of like a bronze. A bronze and a peacock sort of green. It's just really beautiful. And the one that's like the really major part of their fall launch are the eyeshadow sticks. Okay, so these are the NARS Velvet Shadow Sticks. They gave me the standard black, which is called Fili Buste. This is the black one, which is just a standard black. You can use it all over the lid, blend it out, and then put metallic colors on top. You know, how a black cream eyeshadow would work. So this is like the shadow stick ver the Velvet Shadow Stick version of Pacife. This is Sukotai, which is a duochrome. And when we were at the tea table and testing all of the colors, I was like, I hope I get Sukotai. And I did! So I got Sukotai and Sukotai? Sukotai. Yeah, okay. So it's, I don't know if you can see. It's, no, it's darker. It's harder to see that it's a duochrome from there. But it's like a deeper, darker Pacife. In the collection also, they also have a beautiful red lipstick. This is the VI, this is the lipstick in, they don't call it a specific, it's just a standard lipstick in VIP red. And VIP red, I don't know if the camera, I think compared to the camera, it's a little bit brighter on camera. In person, it's, it leans slightly brick. So it's a little bit subdued in person. Like right now, the camera's picking up a lot of light, so it looks pretty bright. But it's slightly darker than what you see now. Slightly darker. Um, it's really nice. I haven't put it on like my whole lips yet because I wanted to save that now for, for the tutorial when I do it. If my current favorite mascara, you know, you just read the blog post. I'm sure some of you did. Um, is this one by Brow House. Brow House, while they offer brow services and brow restructuring, they also do... Um, okay, I'm starting to sweat. Wait, are you, can you see it from there? Oh, it's really hot. Hot. Super. Oh, it's really hot. Huh. Um, they do brow services, but they've, they began doing proprietary cosmetics under the brow house name, you know, and these cosmetics are really good. They're the type of cosmetics you need every day. Like they have a they have brow pencils now, but they're out of stock. They have this mascara. Everything to enhance like the hairs that matter on your face. Like so they have brow products. They now have a mascara. And I think they also have eyeliner. Parang I saw on the Instagram somebody that they they came out with this mascara. I think I think about 
I was like a horse. I think about two years ago, a year and a half ago. HD Mascara by Brow House. And I, how, I love how it says on the other side, Clump Free Curl Up Waterproof. So that's basically what I want from a mascara. That. that and it being black, you know? So, I already vlogged about this. It's got this thin, standard bristle wand. And it's not a fiber. I think some people are grateful because it boosts lashes, but it's not a fiber mascara. I love fiber mascaras, but a lot of people don't. Candle. Um, yeah. Okay. My Voluspa. I've done an in-depth blog post about this one like two years ago. I don't burn can- bur burn. <laughs> I don't burn candles all year- sorry. I don't burn candles all year round, okay? Um, so the last time I burned this was late last year. And then I don't make it go the whole night because I'm praying about fires and all that. This is the Voluspa Black Fig and Kai- I don't know how to pronounce this. Kuiper, Chiper. I should have looked it up already. It smells like the Peak Bay. Yeah, it smells like that. Almost, almost like that, but a little bit stronger. And I like that the payoff, the smell, the fragrance payoff is stronger than the Peak. The Deep Peak one, the six ounce goes for about. I think it's nearly 3,000 or over 3,000 pesos na eh. This one was like 2 something, like 2, 3, something like that. And it's like 12 ounces. Look at it. It's big. It's like almost half the size of my head. And um, the smell is just stronger. It's just more obvious. And I think there's more of a woody note than the Teak Bay, but it's so similar. There! I hope you like my first favorites video. Sorry if I rambled too much. Right now, my laptop is still not consistently turning on like sometimes it'll turn on when I don't need it and then when I need it it won't turn on I will do my best to edit another video for you guys a few days after this one okay have a nice day hope to see you guys soon in another video bye